hey guys and welcome back to my channel if the look is familiar it's because i'm power filming <laughs> i hope you guys are having a lovely day um today we're going to be talking about some of my favorite moisturizing additions to my winter hair care routine so you guys know when it comes to a lot of like my winter wash and goes, I like to do like a little layer of like a light leave-in, a layer of a nice cream or moisturizer, and then I add my gel. Now you don't have to do that, but that's just what I like to do. So I figured I would give you guys a little compilation of some of my favorite super moisturizing products that I plan on implementing in my winter hair care routine. So if you're interested in checking all that out and seeing some of my top picks, then just keep on watching. So I tried to highlight some things that I don't talk about a ton on the channel that I feel like deserve more love. The first one is actually a leave-in, not a cream, but like, y'all, this is so moisturizing. Listen, so many of the other counterparts from this brand get so much attention, but this one does not. This is the Camille Rose Lavender Whipped Cream Leave-In um, Intense Moisturizing Leave-In Cream. And this truly is like a leave-in cream situation. This to me reminds me a lot of what the coconut um, water leave-in from, from Camille Rose used to be. If you guys remember when that first came out, that coconut water leave-in one had a very different smell. Um, <laughs> it doesn't smell that good anymore. Um, and it kind of looked like frosting. Like the texture was not the same as what we have now. And this reminds me so much of that old coconut water leave-in, except this has that lavender scent, which is really nice. It's a nice light lavender scent, and I have really been enjoying using this. I actually really like the lavender gel too. Um, this has a lot of slip, but it is very thick. It's very rich and very softening to the strands. This has been giving me life, and. It's kind of sad that more people don't talk about this because it's bomb. Like, this is really, really good. I definitely want to show it more love this season. Um, some of the highlight ingredients include olive, linseed, castor seed, and jojoba. So this has a lot of really great oils in there, but this is uh, glycerin heavy. Glycerin is a second ingredient, but it makes my hair feel amazing. It's incredibly moisturizing and it does my hair very, very well during this time of the year. So the lavender whipped cream leave-in, don't sleep on her. Don't sleep on her. She's bomb. Alrighty, so next up, this, ugh, that whole video was just a huge surprise to me. And now that I've done the review on this brand, I've been looking at different things that I can mix this with um, to see just what kind of wash and goes I can get out of it outside of what I shared. Um, with you guys in that review. And that is the Flawless by Gabrielle Union Defining Curl Cream. Y'all, this is so moisturizing. And the thing is like, it's very inexpensive. You can catch this on some really good deals. It's thick, but this has a lot of slip. It's very, I know it probably sounds weird to say it, but it's kind of more of like a wet cream. Like you can see that there's a lot of actual like moisture in this. You know how some some creams, you can tell that they're more butter heavy because they almost have like a dryness to them. And it's not anything bad. It's just like talking about the actual texture of the product, not how it makes the hair feel. Um, this adds so much definition. It leaves so much moisture. There are so many emollient ingredients in this. So this does have glycerin as a second ingredient, but this has shea butter, coconut oil. This isn't, um, this is not like, you know, super extra natural juices and berries type of situation, you know, but it's, it has a lot of really, really great ingredients in here. There's passiflora seed oil. So many awesome ingredients. It makes the hair feel amazing. And I feel like all of those of course he's coming to our house. Of course he's coming to our house. Because all my dad does is buy things. My dad has an Amazon problem, y'all. I thought I had an Amazon problem. My dad has an Amazon problem. I'm just waiting for the fallout. The dog must be asleep. Let's see if they'll, they'll say anything when he pulls off. When I order stuff, they never come this early. When I order stuff, they don't show up until like eight o'clock at night. 
But my dad orders stuff and his stuff comes when it's still daylight. <laughs> anyway, moving on. This is bomb. It's moisturizing. It adds so much definition. It just feels so good in the hair. I feel like this will also be good on its own for twist outs and braid outs, but this is definitely the type of cream that I like to add underneath like a gel or like a jelly styler to get like the poppinest, most moisturized, but like super defined wash and go ever. So I love this. I had to put this in the video. I had to, I had to. Y'all know I was side eyeing Miss Gabrielle Union, but I was wrong. Smelling myself because I smell good. Um, I have another fragrance video coming up too for all my frag heads. Um, it might already be up. It's a haul. So I'll link it if it's not, if it's up. And if it's not up, be on the lookout. So much to talk about. But anyway, uh, Nature's Little Secret Irish Moss Styling Cream. This is great to layer over lightweight leave-in conditioners, but I have mostly been using this as um, my only moisture base. <sighs> I'm like halfway through this jar, which is amazing for any kind of cream because you guys know I don't get through creams like that. Like I just don't. Um, that's partially because of how I use them because I use them in conjunction with something else. So I'm only using very light layers. Um, but this I have been using a lot underneath the flaxseed curly custard. I recently did a video demonstrating how I do that. So I will link that video down in the description box. But this has bomb ingredients like all Nature's Little Secret products do. Um, this has slippery elm, there's flax, there's Irish moss, babasu, avocado, pumpkin seed oil, kupuwasu butter, agave nectar. Like this is just, it's packed, it's loaded. But it makes my hair feel so moisturized and supple. And having this in my hair during the winter, like, it, this does really, really well in the warmer months too because it doesn't draw in a ton of moisture from the environment. So it does well for me in that aspect. But this also does a great job of locking everything in. And like when I touch my hair, like it's moisturized to the touch. You can't just see how good my hair looks. It feels amazing. Um, this is one of my favorite products to use for just a nice, balanced, perfect wash and go like it's bomb but it adds so much moisture to my hair during the winter time so this is definitely a staple great for twist outs it's great for braid outs but it's also a really great moisture base for me and another one who's nobody talks about this product and I need to use this more but nobody talks about this from Camille Rose this is the curl Aid moisture butter with green tea and jojoba this is a beautiful twisting product but I actually every now and then when I really like need some extra like lock it in moisture, I will put this in my hair and then put curl maker on top. And it does so well. If you need that extra, extra moisture. She's thick, she's rich. Everyone loves Almond J, but Curl Aid for me is where it's at. I love that original cake batter smell. I really need to like work on using this this year. That's, I'm gonna put this on my desk. Yeah, she's going on my desk, so she's right there in my face. But y'all, this is bomb. Super moisturizing. This also has bomb ingredients. There is rice milk, BTMS coconut oil, olive oil, soybean, green tea, castor. There's rice bran oil. There are just so many amazing ingredients in this, and it leaves your hair so moisturized. So for me... With light layers, I can use this um, underneath the gel if I want to. Light layer of leave-in, light layer of this, and a gel. That's how I like to, if I layer products, that's how I do it. You're not going to catch me just globbing on a bunch of product. I'm not that natural. Um, and products are too expensive to be using half the jar on your hair every wash and go. I'm just saying. So, <laughs> um, I'm not that type of gal. You will never catch me just piling on half a jar of anything on my head. Um, but this is amazing. Just so moisture, so moisturizing, so softening. And this has nice, it has enough hold to be used for twist outs and braid outs. Um, but I like to use this as a moisture base. This really comes in clutch when it's cold. You got a snow day, you got a snow day, this comes in clutch because if it's snowing, that means there's moisture in the air. And so this kind of helps to combat that if you like to go out and play in the snow. It, it helps to combat that. I think a lot of us forget that just because it's cold 
doesn't mean that it's dry and you need products that are going to address that fat too. About good sis TGIN, I have two products here. First, I have the Sweet Honey Hair Milk, beautiful hair milk. This is super moisturizing. I cannot use this in the summer. I cannot. This or the um, Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. This is great if you either have fine strands or you're low porosity and you need something that's going to sink in, sink in really, really, really well. This absorbs beautifully, but this is very humectant and oil rich. This has coconut oil, honey, agave. Um, there's papaya, ginger, manoi, acai fruit. There's some wheat germ oil, sweet almond. This is packed <laughs> with beautiful oils and butters and humectants. It's too much for me in the summer, but when it gets cold outside, I love it. This is another one I think I'm going to put on my desk once, once I'm finished filming because I need to use this more. It's beautiful. This works so well. Um, this works really, really well with the custard that came out when this came out. Um, but I don't know. I haven't used it with anything, with anything else. I kind of want to try it with some of the new gels that they've come out with. Um, I love the sweet honey hair milk. It just feels amazing. Raw honey and agave. This is going to give you moisture. It will give you moisture but it's not it's not too heavy and too dense in the winter time for me it's too much in the summer but in the winter time it's perfect and it leaves everything so supple soft and moisturized and then of course tjn miracle repair curl food with black honey and coconut oil y'all this i like to use this in a couple of different ways i will use this over light layers of this over a leave-in and then apply a gel and I get like the shiniest wash and go of life. This works really, really well underneath Curl Bomb. I also like to use this to just braid up my hair. Like I'll do like a braid out on dirty hair. So um, let's say I have a wash and go that I've let go. My hair isn't super dirty, but the wash and go just doesn't look that great. I'll add light layers of this, braid my hair up. And when I take it down, it's a super soft, moisturized wash and go. I use this for both of those things. I do that too with the um, Irish Moss Styling Cream. That one's good to do that as well. There is something about this that just leaves so much shine in my hair. This does have glycerin as a second ingredient, but there's also shea butter, coconut oil, raw black honey, there's um, cocoa seed butter and wheat germ. This does have combs in it, but you guys know I don't care about that. Like, I just I just don't. <laughs> um, I really don't. And honestly, like, if you didn't tell me that this has silicone in it, I honestly wouldn't know that it has silicone in it. Some products, you can, you can feel the silicone. It feels like a silicone-heavy product, but this does not. It glides through the hair beautifully. It's very creamy. It's very rich. This is a stunning product. One of my favorites from the Miracle Repair line. This curl food is so nice. And I think that this is a really great protective product. If you're someone who is looking for something that is going to keep your strands just protected, especially the ends, I love using this because I know that like it's not going it's not going to allow my hair to catch on to my sweaters or any of my other like cold weather clothing. This comes in clutch. Um, if I incur any type of damage with my hair during the fall and winter, it's that. My hair is sticking to my clothes, you know? Um, and this kind of helps with that because it just keeps everything really lubricated and soft. So this is bomb. My hair feels amazing when I have it in. I love this. I need to get more of the shampoo. I forgot about that during Black Friday. That shampoo was bomb. The shampoo from the Miracle Repair line, amazing. Love me some TGIN. One that I, another one that I reviewed during Affordables Week. This is the African Pride Moisture Miracle Aloe and Coconut Water Curl Milk Detangler. Moisturizes and softens natural coils and curls, y'all. <laughs> African Pride did that. Um, like I said in that video, I'm not quite sure how I fully feel about the gel. I'm going to use that gel more now that it's cooler outside and see if I get better results. It looked really, really great. It was just like, once it got to like day two and a half, like it, she was stiff. She was stiff, no no movement, none. <laughs> stiff and a little dull, but this is so moisturizing. This is so nice. 
and a great price point. You get 12 fluid ounces, um, and I'm pretty sure all these products run around like five to six dollars. Not bad at all. Um, I think most of these run you like four ninety nine. Um, obviously it's African Pride. You ain't gonna be getting no like super clean products, but this does have soybean, there's glycerin, coconut, vegetable oil, coconut, uh, coconut liquid endosperm. I, I know they had to put the scientific name, but that was my, the, it, it, it's plant biology y'all, it's plant biology. <laughs> but every, it always takes me out whenever I'm looking at a product and I see endosperm on there. <laughs> it always takes me out. Um, if you're a plant bio kid, then you probably get what I'm saying. Um, shea butter, sunflower, there's coconut fruit juice. This has a lot of really good ingredients in it, actually. There are some cones in here, but again, if you didn't tell me that there was silicone in this, I wouldn't know. The silicones are at the very bottom of this, though, so there's, it's not heavy in silicones. This just glides on like butter. I feel like if you can't afford the TGIN one, then this is a good option as well. Um, I think this one is just a little bit more emollient. Like I feel like African Pride in general, like their stuff just kind of has a little bit more like, I don't want to say grease, but y'all know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> but this isn't too much of that, you know? Sometimes I put on products like this from um, drugstore companies that cater to black hair and I'm just like it feel like I'm putting on hair grease like it feels like pink lotion you know this does not feel like pink lotion um this is creamy but it still has a lightness to it and when it goes on my hair y'all like my hair just looks beautiful um I will link that video down below for y'all to check out because it was so good um African Pride definitely did the thing with this really enjoy it definitely going to be using this more now that it is cold outside because this is very moisturizing and i want to see what other things i can pair it with i really want to try this with my Ren pure coconut curling jelly i feel like that will be hella moisturizing but that product right there a great moisturizing foundation for a fraction of a lot of the other products in this video is bomb origin they sent this to me and i ended up never doing a video with it um, I think I just got bogged down by other uh, products that they had coming out. But they sent me this um, Agave and Apricot Moisture Rich Drench Cream. Um, and I tried this a couple of weeks ago. Didn't film it. I just was kind of going through stuff that was in my stash that I hadn't used. And I just used light layers of this along with the curling serum that they sent me with this. It's also the apricot, the agave and apricot. This was so moisturizing. This, I would say, compares the most to the She Scented Barbary Fig Cream that I reviewed. Not this year, but I think last year. I, I'll find the video. Um, I think I compared an, the Curl Origin Honey and Hibiscus Cream to the She Scented Barbary Fig. Um, this is the density and the thickness of Barbary Fig, but it maintains the shine. My biggest issue with the Barbary Fig one from She Scented was that it was super moisturizing, but it did lack some shine. Um, this has, keeps, it maintains the shine that that one kind of loses. Now, if my hair is super moisturized, I don't care if it's like glistening to the sun and back, but this is an option for those of you who do care. Um, this has apricot extract, there's olive oil, avocado oil, there's murumuru butter, avocado butter, av agave nectar, um, banana, beet sugar. This is packed with amazing ingredients. I feel like you could use this for a twist out. I think I'm gonna add this to the twist out series. I've been mapping out the twist out series now that it's cold enough. Um, and I think the first video in that series is going to be with the Mish Bounce Curl Cream. But this is amazing. Absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely am falling in love with this. Um, this is one that I haven't heard anybody talk about, but it's really, really good. So I'm gonna try to give this a little bit more shine on the channel. Um, so you guys can learn a little bit more about it, but this is really, really nice, super softening, incredibly moisturizing. It does really well with my light, my light leave-in cream and gel combo. 
does really well with that. Another one that I really love is the Honey's Handmade Melva's Hair Stuffing Decadent Daily Moisturizer. I actually use this alone. I don't put this over a leave-in and it does amazingly. I usually use this underneath my um, coconut and apple curl glaze. I use this often and I still have not like gotten down into the nitty gritty of this jar. This is so moisturizing, softening. It makes the curls really, really shiny and bouncy and plump. This has aloe, there's sapote oil, castor oil, muramuru seed butter, um, muramuru um, and seaweed. And I love this. I love this, it's amazing. Um, this is one of the Melwa's products, but like I say often, I talk about these because they do typically come back. Um, it's not like you'll never get the option to try these again, so. This is awesome. It makes my hair so soft and supple, super moisturized, beautiful product for winter. And it smells like, it smells like a dessert, like a little apple-y, a little cinnamony. It smells really, really good. So it gives that whole like festive vibe too, um, which doesn't necessarily matter. Like we, I care more about how it performs, but still, that's a plus. <laughs> it's amazing and it has a lot of slip for it being a moisturizer. This keeps my hair just plump and luscious. It works well over a leave-in. It works well just with over, you know, well moisturized, freshly washed strands. You know what I'm saying? This is bomb. And then last but not least, this is more of an honorable mention because this is a twisting cream but when I use this I tend to use this in layers I'll put down a light leave-in this and then my gel and I actually like to use this a lot with my tropical moringa this is the melanin twist elongating styling cream y'all I love this but I don't think I'm ever gonna get through it I know why I know why Whitney made these this big because y'all stay complaining about products not being big enough I don't think I'll ever get through this before it goes bad. It, it'll probably go bad before I'm able to get through it. Like I can get through an eight ounce star, but something this big, <laughs> because it's thick and it spreads so far. So even when I feel like I need to use a lot, I don't. Like I never end up having to use as much as I feel like I will. This has a very whipped texture. This is great. I feel like for twist outs and braid outs, um, the only time I've ever really used this for braid outs though was when I did braid outs on dirty hair. That's the only time I ever really do a braid out, honestly. The, the only time, regardless of the product. But this is also going to be a part of the twist out series because y'all were like, we need a, a true melanin twist out. And I was like, yes, we do. So this is going to be a part of that. Um, this is also packed with great ingredients. There's shea butter. This has fractionated coconut oil. Um, that's caprit, caprylic caprit triglyceride. That's what that is. Um, there is mango, cocoa seed butter. This also has glycerin, but it's, um, more towards the middle of the ingredients list. Um, there's kokum seed butter, kukuwasu, castor olive. So this is what I mean when I say, like, the Gabrielle Union one looks wet to the touch. But if you look at this, it's more whipped. It does not look as wet to the touch. And that's what I say like a dry cream, you know what I'm saying? This glides through the hair perfectly. This is really great if you need, you know, that kind of like moisturizing layer in between a leave-in conditioner to keep everything really moist, supple, and really help you to retain a little bit of extra moisture with your wash and goes. And because this is um, a style cream, it adds that extra definition as well. So you're not just adding a product that's going to disturb um the holding properties of your gel this keeps all of that intact with just ha helping to help seal in all of that yumminess that you've applied this is amazing i love it i um i use it a lot not as much as i could but i feel that way with literally all of my creams <laughs> so that is the melanin twist elongating styling cream this is bomb if you're someone who is heavy-handed then melanin is a great way to go because she gives you big jars i actually am getting way down on my leave-in though so that's good i'm doing good on that i'm doing good on that but this twist cream i mean i'll probably i'll probably die with this thing so much product <laughs> all right guys and that is it 
we are at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I like kind of giving you guys videos like this specifically because I don't talk about creams a ton because I use them the least out of all the products in my stash. But when it gets cold, it's time for them to come out and make their little appearance, their little red carpet walk, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what products you like to incorporate in your routines to add that extra moisture boost when it gets really cold and dry outside. I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.